Hello everyone, this is Vishnu and you are watching Tech Tutorial video. Today I am here with another Microsoft Excel tutorial to explain how we can use the conditional formatting feature with our own formula. In my last two tutorials we have seen how to use some of the predefined conditional formatting in Excel with some customization. Also we have seen how to find if there is already existing conditional formatting in an Excel. Various predefined conditional formatting we have seen are highlight cell rules, top or bottom rules, data bars, color scales and icon sets. Now in this one I am going to explain how to create a conditional formatting based on our own formula with an example. This option can be used when none of the predefined conditional formattings are matching our requirement. This also is a very easy if you have idea about Excel formulas. Here in this Excel I already have some data to play with. Let's have a look at it in details. First thing we are going to see is how to highlight a specific cell based on other cells. Let's consider that we want to highlight the name of the student here in this column if their average score is greater than 40. I'm going to show you how to do that. Select a name of a student then go to conditional formatting option over here choose new rule and from the list of rule type I'm going to select the last option which is use a formula to determine which cells to format we'll get a place here to put a formula we have to make sure that the formula we are putting over here can be evaluated either as true or false and the complexity of your conditional formatting is going to depend upon what formula you are putting it over here. In this case we are not going into that complex formula. What we are going to say is that equals to average and then we are going to select a range which is this. Let's close it and if the average is greater than 40 then we are going to select the format of the cell that we want to display if the condition is true let's say ok say ok here as we can see that the name of the student is shown in green because the average of score is greater than 40 which is 41. Once we have one conditional formatting ready it is very easy to copy the same conditional formatting for other rows to display other students in green if they have average score greater than 40. To do that first thing I'm going to do is modify the conditional formatting a little bit from the option manage rules in manage rule if we select this worksheet over here it is going to display all the conditional formatting currently exist in this worksheet we are going to select this conditional formatting and then we are going to remove the dollar symbol in front of the row number 3 I am doing this because when I copy this conditional formatting from row 3 to row 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 these numbers should be automatically changing so let's say ok here also this field says that to which cell the conditional formatting applies to I'm going to remove the dollar symbol in front of 3 so that when I copy it to 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 it changes accordingly then I'm going to say ok now the conditional formatting is ready to copy to copy that what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire row from here 
and then I'm going to use the format painter option then I'm going to put the same formatting on other rows now we can see that all the students having average number greater than 40 are highlighted with green color what if we want to highlight entire row or a range of sales let's see how to do that once we have a conditional formatting to highlight a particular sale it is very easy to modify that same conditional formatting to highlight a range of sale to do that I'm going to use the manage rule option over here and then I'm going to list all the rules of this worksheet and I'm going to modify this applicable to field what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then override it with a range of cell I'm going to do the same thing for other rules and I'm going to say OK and we will see what is the result now as you can see that we built a conditional formatting and then we applied them conditional formatting to a range of cells so such a way we can actually highlight entire row based on some formula that you can define and which can be evaluated as true or false so this is all about today's tutorial hit the like button if you like this let me know if you have any comment or suggestion subscribe for more such tutorial thank you for watching tech tutorial video take care bye bye see you soon with another tutorial